Quote, the only safe vaccine is the one that is never used. This was quote by James Shannon, the former director of the National Institutes of Health, the NIH. Quote, the most dangerous man to any government is the man who is able to think things out without regard to the prevailing superstitions and taboos. Almost inevitably, he comes to the conclusion that the government he lives under is dishonest, insane, and intolerable. This was a quote by H.L. Mencken back in the 1930s during the Great Depression. And finally, this quote. I haven't gotten the flu shot, and I don't intend to. George W. Bush, presidential candidate, 2004. In summation, the so-called bird flu is in reality, folks, a master cover for a very sinister and very devious plan to throw America into martial law, to suspend the Constitution, and yes, indeed, destroy this great republic. Never forget that there can be no viral pandemic without human design and instigation. Never forget that. And China is, in fact, designated to be the agent of instigating this pandemic destruction. China, if you will, will be the spear point, the point on the end of the spear. And this is but a stepping stone in the master plan of the Illuminati of conquest of planet Earth. Will it succeed? Is this plan not treason in the extreme? I would remind you that during the American Revolution, one Benedict Arnold had a, a plan where he was, it wasn't successful because it was smoked out, it was sniffed out by those that had their eyes opened. Benedict Arnold's plan of treason was exposed. I submit this is worse than Benedict Arnold's plan of treason. I submit to you that it is the greatest threat ever facing this republic. Will we sit by and idly let it happen? Will we sit by and see the able-bodied men and women of America struck and down with the recreated 1918 deadly virus? Will we sit idly by and say, oh, this is okay, it's a... It's just part of God's plan for us, you see. Will we call for Chinese troops to come in to restore order when the pandemic hits and we have no economy? When quarantine cities are restricted from travel? When we can't buy, sell, or trade without getting vaccinated? And if we refuse the vaccine because we know what it's all about, We'll be in prison like Guantanamo Bay inmates or domestic terrorists, as they will call us. Will we wait for this to happen? Or will we stand up right now today, like Ron Paul has said, to make a revolution of love? I'm here to tell you, folks, this is not fiction. This is fact. It's happening. Just recently, last month, Pictures surfaced of 500,000 black coffins being delivered to Atlanta, Georgia, and reports of millions of other black coffins ordered by our U.S. government and state governments to be stockpiled. Folks, you don't put coffins in place unless you're expecting massive deaths. You don't build concentration camps, as I call them, detention centers. Millions, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of concentration camps, unless there's a purpose for them. Will the plan succeed? Well, here's the plan of action that hopefully will make it uh, not succeed. I challenge you to distribute at least 10 of these DVDs to friends and families, the members that you love. Folks, don't sit back idly. 
and let this thing happen. Write informed letters asking these very tough questions. Write them to your newspapers, to your TV stations, to your congressmen, to your senators. Purchase products, folks, beginning right now that are made in America, not made in China. You see, when you buy a made in China good or product, what you're doing is enriching the Chinese Communist Party, the enemy against this republic. Buy made in America when all possible. And more importantly, let these retailers know in no uncertain terms why you have made your purchasing decisions. Vote with your dollar while you still can. I want to just wrap up. Uh, today, as we're making this, this tape, it's Sunday, uh, August 3rd, 2008. This Friday, on August 8th of 2008, at precisely 8.08 p.m. in Beijing, China time, the best in the world, the best athletes in this world will be on stage in Beijing, China at the Olympics. America's best athletes from age 18 to 35 will be showcasing their skills to the world. It's very clear that they'll be entering a, a, a realm of toxic pollution that they've never seen before. Even six months of cleanup has done little to disguise it. I'm sure the athletes in track and field and our, our basketball athletes will have a trouble um, maintaining their lung capacity with the toxic air. Let me just throw out a possibility. And I hope and I honestly pray this doesn't happen, but if looking at what the Chinese mindset is, what a perfect opportunity. Let me just remind you that the number eight is a symbol of infinity in Chinese symbolism. The number eight is very, very special symbolically to China, and especially the government. The number five is also very special. So when you have five eights, a sequence of five eights, it is literally a symbol of Chinese deification or Chinese rule. Chinese superiority. It's, no, it's just absolutely no coincidence that they have designed the Olympics Games to begin on 8.08 p.m. on 8.08. In USA Today on Friday in the, in, the, in the newspaper, they had a section in there on just that subject, that 300,000 Chinese couples are getting married on 8.08 p.m. of 8.08 of 08 because they think it's so, so symbolically uh, superior to any other date. It's their date of destiny, their date of eternal uh, superiority. There's no better time for the world to be at the stage of China's grandeur than at this coming Friday. What better time to infect American athletes with this biological agent? What would happen if America's basketball team, specifically, imagine what would happen if LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Darren Williams, Kevin Garnett, the stars of the NBA, all come down with a virus where they cough blood and die. Would not this cause a pandemic of great proportions? Would not it cause Americans to line up begging for a vaccine to save them? I hope and pray this doesn't happen. We need prayers. We need God to be involved. We need uh, divine intervention on this. Uh, again, if this makes sense to you, if it's awakened you to the sense of our of our situation, take action. Don't sit by and wonder what happened. I leave this with you and wish you all the best.